A police car responding to a 911 call. A man causing a disturbance in the middle of the day armed with a knife. The two Dallas police officers approach. The man wheels backwards on his chair. He stands up, not stepping forward, not raising his arms. All this caught on Maurice Bunches' home surveillance system. Out of nowhere, they just opened fire on him. Less than 20 seconds after the officers exited the patrol car, Bobby Gerald Bennett was shot. A paranoid schizophrenic off his meds, Bennett was wounded, shot four times. His mother now regrets calling the very agency she hoped would help her son. It's criminal, is what I think. Not, not one step toward the officers. Not, he didn't even raise his arms. But that's not what police say. According to the officer's report, they say Bennett stood up and displayed the knife in his right hand. After he was given verbal commands, the report says he took several steps toward them with the knife raised in an aggressive manner. Watch what he does. He backs up. See, he's backing up away from them. Richard Lichten is retired law enforcement and currently a police practices expert. He is not involved in the Texas investigation, but based only on this one video, he sees some problems. First, the actual shooting. I didn't see the, uh, the individual going towards the officers. I didn't see the individual raise his arms up above his head as if to stab down. I didn't see that. Then comparing this video to what police say, that Bennett raised his arm with the knife and stepped towards the officers. They don't. When I looked at that and then I looked at the video, what's written in the affidavit is not consistent with the video evidence. The Dallas police chief says the police officer who shot Bennett is on administrative leave indefinitely. The police chief says he's aware of the home video and would not make further comment because of the investigation. We did try to reach the attorney who represents the police officer in this case. He did not respond to our request for a response, but we did manage to reach the attorney representing Bennett's mother. He calls this video shocking, remarkably clear, and he plans on filing a federal civil rights lawsuit.